Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days of Die 1.0. We are going full tilt here towards Hard Night. We gotta get some more looting done. We gotta get some more better armor. Just really get prepared for that Hard Night because last Hard Night, the first one, was really, really close, but that's all we set ourselves up with. Now, I am famously known for crazy over-preparing for Horde Nights, so I'm kind of trying to take it a little riskier this time around, this playthrough here in Experimental, and go one-on-one -on -one hand combat with them, basically. But we, we survived last time. I have no idea what to expect this time around, though. We've been making ourselves tons and tons of forged iron here because we're going to be making some iron spikes i, I know that these uh, let's finish typing that out here uh might be expensive but you know what whatever that's all i have to say to that right so we have 28 iron spike traps done uh, 120 wood spike traps made and now we're waiting on 33 more of these so i gotta go do some of that old school boring work guys Head over to our mine and get ourselves some iron. We also got to make ourselves some barbed wire fence as well. So I'm going to grab some wood and some iron. I'll see you guys when I'm done. There we go. Level 21. And we have one skill point to spend. Here we go, guys. Oops. We're going to go with uh, quick and perceptive here. We can get sudden strike, which gives us 7% faster spear attacks, which is... Actually really important, especially on Horde Night or when you're getting grouped up on, right? And the next one here, Lightning Reflexes, isn't available until Perception Level 10, uh, which is quite a grind away. I think same with uh, Spear Master 2. It is locked, unlocked under 10. Uh, the other thing we could point to put a little bit into at some point is Salvage Operations. We're going to leave that for now. Uh, but we're going to hop into... Oh yeah, that's right. We actually already maxed this out as well. I think it makes more sense here to go over and put a little bit in the fortitude to get stuff like pain tolerance up, healing factor up, iron gut, uh, just so we don't have to eat and drink as much too, right? So we're going to leech into that one a little bit and wow, look at that. We just missed a wandering horde again. Uh, they're right over there. That That's funny. Okay, I'm going to head back to, uh, can I actually get to the mine without disturbing these guys? I don't mind killing them, but uh, my main function here right now is to get some gathering done. I'm going to try to get back to the mine here. I was letting it cool down because I collected a lot of uh, steel, or a lot of, I'm sorry, iron out of the hole. And that can uh, call in a screamer quite fast. Okay, yeah, we should be fine over here. Famous last words. Let's check this out. There we go. So we're starting to actually get a pit pit now. Uh, I'm going to have to dig some sand out, which is fine, because at some point we're going to need that sand anyway. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, collect it up and keep it. We're going to have to move all this damn stuff, too, when we do move on to the next biome here. After the next Horde Night. Ooh, that's going to be a tough week, guys. Moving on to the next biome, doing uh, the next level up quest. And also trying to get established over there, too. I, I like the place we're at right now, so... Uh, but it's cool. We'll have safe houses all over the map. We aren't near our workbench at all, so I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, just start some barbed wire fence here right in our inventory, right? It's going to take nine minutes, uh, but I'm out here anyway, not doing anything with my inventory at all. So, multitasking for the win. Alright, so it's coming time to eat here, and uh, pumpkin bread, guys, you know, I've never really looked into it, eating it or whatever, uh, but it does give you a max stamina bonus of 20, which is actually really decent. The bacon and eggs, which, uh, guys, I'm still good, this might go too, because meat and eggs are just all over the place, right? Pumpkin's a little harder to find unless you're farming, uh, but it only gives you a max stamina bonus of 10. So when I'm out and about, I'm going to be eating my bacon and eggs, doing stuff like this, uh, Horde Night, and when I'm doing like major clears, uh, something like pumpkin bread can come, yeah, can come in quite handy. Oh, look, there's more iron over there too. Yeah, I'm going to take a few trees out, take out a little more iron here, guys, and we'll head back to base. Uh, we do have quite a bit of supplies, and uh, for some reason, I've kept all of my junk stuff on me, too. 
So I'm just stopping everything off at home here and uh, trying to think. Oops, I don't mean to track that. Trying to think of what to do. I think I also need to top that off too. And I just remembered we didn't actually finish looting the hog place next door. So that would be a good choice here before the rest of the night. Uh, I guess we're going to spend the night here crafting, getting stuff together, you know, just preparing our horde base because uh, last horde night, I said I didn't know what I was expecting. I think I know what I'm expecting this time because I'm much higher level. It's going to get absolutely wild. And I'm fully expecting a death this time around. I have no faith in myself. Well, that was a long journey, guys. There's stories. There's stuff you missed. Anyway, let's get in here and clear this place though, because there's got to be uh, some goodies. Even this trash here, like look at the 178 brass. If it's early game, you can sell that to the trader. Uh, we're now at the point where we're uh, saving that stuff here uh, to make ammo in the future. I can just grab everything here, guys. Oh, we have some action going on. Looks like uh, the towers here are going to break some out. Whoa! Maybe I shouldn't have went up to them. Oops, my bad. Cool. Wow, look it up here, though. If he can somehow get up here for the first night, or just to hide out for a little bit, cool little hiding spot. Uh, very accessible for zombies, but I like it. I just really like high vantage points. That is why I chose that place here for our first horde night. <laughs> look how look how silly that looks with our uh, little workbenches and everything just kind of kind of hanging out above there. So the other thing we can start doing here is you see all this stuff. This is all supplies, and we we have a shovel now and the ability to actually gather stuff quite quickly. So these things here, it's been a little while. Uh, are going to give us just uh, oh, cobblestone, it looks like, some uh, some clay. Uh, this here is going to give us just sand and wood. Okay, what about these here? This has got to be... Oh, that's corn. Oh, there's corn seeds. Okay, we don't need those, but now that I know that, keep an eye out for those if you're, you're looking to do some farming. <laughs> the advantage of hitting things with tools. All right, well, let's break through this door here. Uh, this might... I don't know how well the zombies spawned in this place or how many of them spawned in, but uh, we are about to find out. Nice. I don't have to cut breaking through doors anymore. That's a relief. Okay, we definitely have a few in here. No? Oh, wow. No no actual food in here. Damn. I'm here looking for meat, and I get you, Mo. I could be no Mo disappointed. Uh, so those I know I don't want. I'm not going to break them down. It's really not worth it. Let's go out. And this is the main area here. So uh, I didn't loot this area. I just looted the goodies in the middle. I'm going to clear it out. Oh, looks like I found a spawn in there. Where'd you guys come from? Oh, wait, what? Oh, they must have come from inside this roof over here. Okay. And you know what? Screw this. I'm going to flex and bust in here, too. All right. This wasn't as fast as I thought it was, but it is much quicker than doing this with a stone axe, I tell you. What? Uh, I can't wait until we can make better tools, too. Uh, like steel tools flying through stuff in one swing. Uh, it's going to be so nice. All right, so we did empty this area out. That was completely unnecessary. And picking up my blocks here as I go to. Okay, it looks like I got the center area mostly cleared out. Just a quick... Oh! There is... Smith Mixer over here. And, yeah, a Forge Ahead book. Nice. 12 of 75. Let's press this button here, and that is going to go ahead and, uh, I actually don't know what that unlocked. Maybe the door is over. Whoa! Wake up! I don't know how I didn't wake her up, but I'll take that as a win. Got some books sitting on the shelves over here. Or magazines. Nothing good. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to clear out this office then. Oh, 
I was about to say, I have a good, I have a feeling I'm going to find something cool. Guys, we found the Lumberjack outfit. It gives you uh, more carrying capacity. So we're going to take that too and uh, give it a part of our collection. Uh, so a bunch of people ask, which outfit am I going to go with? Honestly, guys, I'm going to go with the best outfit for the best situation. And uh, pretty much, I think, same with the armor too, right? Uh, keep all the sets just in case. You know what? You might decide, hey... I'm getting bored of clearing the way I'm clearing. Maybe I'll try a sneak challenge. Oh, look at this. There's stuff up in there. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll try a sneak challenge out, right? So uh, just keep that in mind. Keep uh, most of your armor. I'm really at this point only selling duplicates or uh, just really crappy stuff. Okay, that's the other half here. We made it in here. This is where we killed the, uh, the radiated pig. I get it. Not that exciting. And it looks like we're on the outside of the building here. I pretty much have looted uh, most of it. There's just some random junk around the outside here. And Hogzilla Ranch uh, has a mailbox. They don't even walk it into the place for the guys. They're like, you know what? You can come and get it here. Oh, look at that. We find more lead and loot. How exciting. Let's do a quick inventory dump here and uh, check on my crafting machines here. My uh Workstations. Let's make sure these are all going here. Did I get any extra stuff in my inventory? I did. I'm going to dump it in there. And, uh, yeah, pretty soon we're going to be having a couple forges going with some stones and stuff. I, I can't wait, guys. Uh, the first part of the game is always the, uh, the hardest part of the game. Okay, make sure that we're emptying the water out of here because we need lots and lots of water. And I need to organize my inventory. We're going to take a quick run over to the trader here. Uh, I never check to see if Jen will hand out level 3 quest. Um, because if she does, we might grab one here just to kind of break up the monotony, right? Wow, she does have tier 3 stuff. Okay, well, I guess I uh, just never really thought of checking that out. Uh, we have a tier 3 infested clear. When we do have time... I do want to check that one out. We've got a tier 3 fetch here just 194 meters away. I might grab that one here. Uh, but we, what we'll do is like set up a little mini horde base, launch the zombies, run out, get on it, and take on the zombies as if it's a little horde, right? I think that'll be uh, much more effective. Kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and accept this tier 3 you fetch know. here. I always uh, Taylor home. Manor. Oh, All right. Goodness. The boys left their supplies here at Taylor Manor. Let's go and check that out. It's 1900, but if it's something we can easily quickly grab, we're going to we're going to do that. Oh, yes, Taylor Manor. So, um it's this big old house over here. So, we're we're going to check it out. We're going to launch it. I'm not too afraid of failing it because we'll have some more quests tomorrow anyway. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it the good old college try, if you know what I'm saying. Let's jump out here, check that mailbox before resetting, and we got a sticks. Nice. 29 of 75. Uh, almost actually halfway there. I cannot go in that way. We gotta go in through the back. Here we go. Let's reset this bad boy. I don't even care about, like, checking it out. Let's just get it going here. And we are 41 meters away, it looks like... It's probably going to be up towards the roof, which is not bad because uh, those ones I find are the easiest ones to get. It's the ones that are in the middle of the house or in a basement. Those ones are uh, really hard to cheese. So uh, let's cheese the crap out of this and uh, get a tier 3 quest under our belts. There we go. Let's do a run and jump. Oop, that, that was a crouch and jump. Oh, I could have just... Okay, whatever, guys. Shame. All right, we are 21.5 meters away. We are now 12 meters away. Oh, it looks like it's down. Oh, it's on the first floor. Oh, it's like right over here, guys. Right, right over here somewhere. 4.8 meters, 3.2 meters. Oh yeah, we can cheese this real easy. Let's bust through here and uh, see. What's going on? This is what I love about Seven Days to Die, guys, and it's the only survival game that has kept me long term. Whoa, is because you can literally destroy the whole environment and make what you want. It's 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 cool. That was so incredibly easy. That was definitely worth a shot. We haven't we even have enough time here uh, to get back to the trader and hand this damn thing in. That, that that's funny. 
Good job. Okay, yeah, it was it was actually very fast, Trader Gen. You got it right this time. So we got cobblestone rocks, uh, first aid kit. That's super valuable. Spear hunter, volume one. Which one is this? Ten percent more damage. Okay, that's that's beyond. Like there's there's no question there. We're taking spear hunter, uh, volume one here. And let's see what else you have for jobs. Anything nice and close by? We have fetch clear. Uh, we have another fetch. We're always looking for Poopy some pants daycare. Thanks, that man. might be easy. So we'll we'll grab that one. <laughs> Just cheese them all out here. And uh, check out quest here. So we are at 33 of 60. And these quests uh, give you plus three tier points. So yeah, that, that's still quite a bit. We've still got quite a bit of these to do. But if you can pick off these... Uh, <laughs> these little fetches and just tease your way into the building with a little effort. Uh, you can really fly through those. I'm going to choose to not go ahead and uh, attempt that quest here at 2100. Uh, what we're going to do is start setting up our uh, new horde base here. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that we have a whole bunch of wood spikes out already. And what I'm going to do is count this here as oh there's there's a space we could fill that with blocks uh what about here yeah i think right about here i can count this as center and then just refill it out uh with wood spikes because i want to use the uh, iron spike traps here in the middle because if it gets that hairy uh that we're, we're right into a small space uh this is uh, what i want to be our defenses right I pretty much used up what's in my inventory here, and uh, I also want to keep on uh, top of getting these wrapped around too, so we can get up onto the platform easier. Uh, but already, the horde base is uh, feels bigger than the last one, right? But yeah, we'll have a sea of wood spikes here, I think, at the beginning. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt because they just chew through the wood spikes real fast. They end up on top of the platform. Uh, maybe we'll make little sections of platforms. That way I can hop across or make little bridges or whatnot. I don't know. Kind of just going on the fly here with all of this. Oh. Guys. No. I've already read Spear Hunter Volume 1. Ah! It's something I couldn't have used and I only get like 100 coin for it. Oh. Alright, so... Oh, so we did use up all of the spikes that we had uh, available. Wow, okay. Uh, that really wasn't that many, but looks like we'll need many, many more wood spikes traps. So, uh, I'm gonna go oops, with whoop spikes. We're gonna go with spikes here. And how many can I make? 76? Uh, we will make 70 just so I have a little bit of wood on me and uh, I guess go do some more uh, tree farming here uh, tomorrow. Get real close to hard night here. Now I think I may have actually stashed some iron away. I want to see if you can upgrade the iron spikes. Because if that is also an option, I'm going to give that a go. I, I don't think you can. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a complete noob here. Yeah, there we go. There's some iron. Uh, but we are going to find out. Because if we can upgrade the wood spikes too, I am also going to do that. Slow them down just that much more, right? Let's look around here. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, one thing I do miss, honestly, are um, log spikes. We used to flip them upside down. They'd work perfectly. The zombies would walk across so nicely. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they nerfed that. Oh, so you can upgrade here wood spikes to iron spikes. I think that's what was happening there. Let's hit these iron spikes. Yeah, we can't upgrade those at all, but just for sciences. Yeah, you can upgrade wood to, to iron. Okay. Okay, that's how that works. Cool beans. I'm going to uh, start soon doing some repair. Oh, crap. Oh, it's just a tryhard. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. I'm not paying attention. Uh, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Don't try to be taking out my spikes. I don't think I have enough wood to actually repair all these wood spikes as I go around. So uh, I'm going to try grabbing a bit more. Ooh, that wind is haunting. 
back at home here and i know it's a little dark guys but we got a good foundation out there we still need to go out a little more i'm gonna keep this here too for horde night because if they come over at this angle and chew up this little corner over here that's not that bad of a deal because we've already put the effort into the resources right so this thing doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical we could make it a giant cross if we wanted to Ooh, that would be cool or like a giant plus uh a giant x you know it could be anything let me know guys what, what so many people were watching the video so many imaginations let me know down in the comments what would be a cool shape for a horde base like this So what I was trying to get to is the other thing we're going to need for Hard Night, especially, is coffee. And I thought I'd dump some coffee beans somewhere. Uh, we're starting to actually get a little ahead on water because we're home. There we go. We have 15 coffee beans kicking around in there. Yeah, look at that. Four more water. Now, if we just didn't have to put that in the campfire, we'd literally have no water worries uh, at all here. So let's get those cooked up. Three minutes, 20 seconds beauty oops oh i tracked water i do not want to track water uh so let's look up coffee here pretty sure i can make that i can just takes one coffee bean uh per one water so you know what screw it we're gonna turn all of our current water into coffee because i mean coffee eggs and bacon guys that's literally the champ's breakfast you know what i'm saying Got a little bit of time to kill here in the morning. And one thing I have realized is we're sitting on top of a place we've actually never looted. We <laughs> I haven't gone down into this place at all uh, to check out what kind of loot it has. So, I mean, hey, that'll kill a couple of minutes, right? Then we'll get on our bike and do that retrieve the supplies quest. Oh, look at this. So I broke the wall over here, and I thought this was a shelf for some reason. But that is, that's a key rack. So I broke open a nice, easy piece of metal here, hit the key rack, and it opened this door here, which was 5,000 hit points. <laughs> uh, yeah. Might want to make those walls a little more solid there, Fun Pimps. Okay, let's check this out here. Of course, we're going to have a few runners and stuff, but this is... Uh, pretty low level POI. Oh, look. oh, it looks like this might be the good room too. So uh, I'm going to make, ooh, let's make 40 of these. There we go. I'm uh, like completely out of wooden supplies here for building the horde base. So uh, we can't really do too much of that. Uh, I'm going to just get myself out here. And yeah, there's a bunch of good loot right here. Where's the zombies at though? Um, does that close? It does. Whatever. Let's just jump down here and find out. They're probably actually uh, in a wall or something back there. I bet that's what's going on. You know what, fun pimps? You're not going to get me. I'm going to get you. Let's go over here. Oh. 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 What's this? Oh, you know what I think is going to happen? No. No. Nothing? There's nothing up there. Okay, whatever. Let's just get down here and see what happens, guys. I I'm not really afraid of, like, a level one here. What am I doing? All right, here we go. And, yeah, absolutely nothing. Uh, it just goes up to a hole. Look at this. So, look at all, look at all the loot uh, that was sitting down here with, like, little, very little effort to actually... Whoa! <laughs> Uh, get to it. I almost broke an ammo pile there. Not too much uh, crazy in it, but wow, there's a hidden stash down here. Uh, we got a rifle, skills, magazine. We got another uh, spear crafting. Ooh, iron spear quality five. Oh, wow, we're still at quality three for iron spear. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's open up this box here. Uh, we got uh, scrapping for fun. Okay, tools digest. And uh, some easy stuff we can throw in the base here. Yeah, this is actually worth jumping down here and checking this out. Oh, oh, nice. We got a legitimate hunting rifle now. And a weighted head mod. Ooh, that was a nice, 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 nice find. Uh, so, 
With a level 5, we should be able to throw the weighted head mod in it too. Okay, let's prioritize that here and then we will head out and uh, check out that that fetch. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm jacked. We got to come back down here and finish clearing this out. But uh, what, what an easy, easy little loot. And we've been sitting on that the entire time. But you know what? My loot rating is high. So I think it's a little better we waited for that anyway. So we have 106 leather sitting in here, and we have 8 duct tape. So yeah, we definitely have enough stuff here to make that spear. Oh, that's going to be nice. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, unmod this, and then we will compare its damage. I'm going to get my inventory all sorted here, and we'll head out as soon as that's all done. I'll also swap out my uh, pipe rifle here for an actual full-out hunting rifle. Nice. Now we don't have to rely on uh, pipes to repair the damn thing. And I guess we'll just keep this around as a, a backup weapon. Uh, topped off and got some nice delicious coffee and water. And you know what? Just because we can. Uh, wait. There we go. I'm going to make a couple more coffees. And we're done. We have our level 5 spear here. So let's take out the modifications complete. And we go from 24.4 up to 28.6 and after we modify that bad boy with three mods oh uh serrated blade am i not able we got bleeding we got fire and what does this do stun and slow you know what i think i want stun and slow then it's got to be one of these one or the other uh now i wonder if i can steal Let's modify this here, the structural brace mod. And put that on my spear, making it just uh, that much more powerful here. Ah, we can. Okay, perfect. There we go. So now we are at 34.6 damage. Damn, that's a, that's a nice little spear I got there. Okay, and we will take the other mod here, modify, and uh, throw it into the shovel just to give it... Uh, a little bit of a boost cool we'll leave this behind guys and i'm gonna head right on over i'm gonna drink or uh yeah i'm gonna drink some bacon and eggs and eat some coffee get my butt over there get some quests done ah there it is the poopy pants daycare i was gonna say why is there a storage crate that's my storage crate there outside of uh crack a book here there we go. So I guess uh, I'm going to loot the vehicles here around and then we'll uh, launch this quest. All right, good to go. The, nothing really special to those vehicles, but it's always uh, worth a quick go here. We're going to give them another. Oh, yeah, just junk. Okay, ignore those things for now. We're going to walk through the front door here. It looks like it is 23 meters. It's on the roof. It's on the roof and it's probably in that little area there. So uh, let's go straight up. You know how I could tell that? If you, if you don't know, by the way, guys, I'm going to try to throw out some stuff out there as I can go. Uh, you look at the little icon and if the little bag uh, is just has no arrow above or below it, you're actually at the level you should be. And if you go down here, you can see the on my compass there right at the top. It's going to be very barely visible, but it has a little arrow above it now. So uh, let's check that out. So, yeah, it's definitely... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's in the ceiling and not the roof. Well, we'll go uh, backwards then. We'll go from the roof down. Come on, wake up here, birds and stuff. I don't even care about you guys anymore. Knock you right out of the sky. Whoa, there you are. There you are. Bam! Get out of here, stupid bird. hate those things. All right, so it says we are seven meters away here. Uh, nine meters, seven meters. Six, five, four. Oh, it's two meters right here. Oh, it's, wow, guys, it's on the outside of the building. <laughs> what? I, I, that's, that's quite the place for it. Okay, well. We got that one, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be a little sketchy. There we go. Let's get back to the trader. That one was also uh, nice and easy here. Let's see if she has any more fetches. Oh, we got a snack. Where is it? Here it is. I will kill this damn thing. 
before it's meat. Oh my god. That was uh, that was a ninja snake right there. You see it dodge every single one of my attacks? It's almost impossible. Well, hello. Hello, hello Trader Jen. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look at this stuff. We got high power 44 magnum ammo. We got flaming arrows. Oh, th those those are those are fun. Come on, you gotta have some fun with those. Grave digger mod repair kits or stick of dynamites. We're we're gonna go with the flaming arrows here. I think just to have some fun. Uh, I didn't really see any uh, better options. Oh wow, look at this! Some buried supplies for tier three. Uh, we do have another fetch. We're gonna go I ahead and grab that one here fantastic. and uh, slam it out. Those I ones are literally taking us uh, next to no time. Ooh, we have a skill point too. We're le level twenty two. That is sick. Okay, so we are 36 of 60 here. <laughs> it's going to take us a while to get to tier 4. So I'm going to put that point, like I said here, into tough under pain tolerance here. Uh, it, it reduces my hit point loss by 5%, and it's a whopping right away 20% less chance to get stunned. So one single point in there is good. Uh, the next level doubles that, but we have to have fortitude level Three. So I think, you know, a few points in the fortitude here actually might not be a, a bad thing. Uh, farm plot. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need that crap. This stuff here, though, is not bad. Even running because uh, we're going to be, you know, running around on horde nights and stuff. Uh, it might not be bad to invest a few points in there, too. Okay, so we got to retrieve the supplies here at a uh, farmstead. Not too bad of an option. Did we look at this mailbox? Oh, we actually did not. Oh, damn. Whatever, we'll sell that off to the trader, but uh, let's go and check this out. Looks like we're going to have to activate this. Hopefully, oh, well, that's a chicken. Okay, I thought that was a doghouse there for a second. Uh, hopefully, this one here doesn't land in the basement or something. I don't really ever remember looting this POY, so uh, let's give her a go. There is a doghouse over there. And... I am here without spikes, but I think at this point, actually, we, we could take a few hits from a dog, no problem. Uh, let's run over here. I'm actually going to get some wood and make some spikes, just in case. Let's launch us. See what happens. Hopefully, we don't get a dog spawn in behind us. I'm going to jump up. Okay. No, we're good. Always afraid of those damn dogs. And it looks like the White River supplies are what? Whoa, they look like they're below us, but two meters. I don't get it. You know what? I'm going to do some digging, I tell you what. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going to break this block. Oh. Hello. Get out of here, Mo. We don't need you no more. There we go. I'm going to break this block here and see what happens. Okay, broken here, and it looks like... Oh, we're right there, so... I'm going to just jump down here. We're going to grab that. And hop the heck out. Actually, is that the... Is that the treasure room? If that's the treasure room... Might be worth checking that out. Where are these zombies coming from? It's always hard to hear. They need better positional sound in this game. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but like I said, I don't really care about that right now. I just want to get this here uh, back to the trader. Oh, and we need to check the mailbox on our way out, too. And in here, just a rifle book. So what do you think, Jen? Is my horde base good enough? There's something different about you today. Right? What I know. What is it? New armor? Ooh, new haircut? Both, actually. And a new horde base. I well, thank you for you the boost of confidence there, work. Jen. You're a very nice person. All right, so we got a crafting ma uh, skill magazine bundle. Let's see what this book is about. 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. You know what? That's going to actually make wood collecting a little easier. Uh, the crafting skill magazine bundle is nice, but that's a very specific find here uh for the book so i think what we're gonna do is grab a buried supplies a a Hurry back soon i just kind of i, I want to see you. what that's like i know they're a little boring but uh we'll, we'll we'll try that one here let's use that so wood collecting is a little easier and i actually have some stuff uh, here to no sell to jen packs. 
Oh, looking through here. Uh, she has Urban Combat Volume 5. Uh, Landmines won't detonate uh, when stepped on. That's actually a really, really good book. Earlier in this series, we actually ran over some. Got real lucky that we're still alive, but uh, we're still here. Seeing that book, I think, I is, is, is pretty sometime. much a sign here to, uh, <laughs> to grab it. There we go. No more mind deaths. All right, guys. Unfortunately... We have run out of time for today's episode here. Uh, now, what is your favorite uh, non-alcoholic drink here, guys? We'll keep it uh, a little family-friendly in the comments. Anyway, as usual, back up them game saves and stay classy. Have a good one. Do you want? <laughs>